On November 19, 1973, officials at Pickens Mather, the then parent company of Interlake Steamship Company, announced a contract with the American Shipbuilding Company to build two 1,000 foot ships at a cost of $75 million. These two ships, the James R. Barker and the Masabi Miner, would be the first 1,000-footers built entirely on the Great Lakes. Built at a cost of slightly more than $45 million, the Masabi Miner was christened in 1977 to honor the men and women of Minnesota's Masabi Iron Range. Built by the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio, she has always been a part of the Interlake fleet. The miner's hull was constructed at American Shipbuilding's Lorain and Toledo, Ohio yards, while her deck house was constructed at their South Chicago yard, being transported to Lorain on the deck of the George D. Goebel. Her self-unloading system includes three cargo hold belts and a 265-foot boom. Measuring in at just under 1,004 feet long, she was the fourth 1,000-footer built. The Masabi Miner was outfitted with special diesel exhaust scrubbers as part of Interlake Fleet's improvement system. The work was completed by Fink and Terry Bay Shipbuilding of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin in early 2017. The Masabi Miner continued to be an active member of the Interlake Steamship Company fleet, hauling iron ore and coal to ports across the upper Great Lakes. <laughs>